Okay, so a fresh restart. Hopefully my mic is going to be completely fine now. So we're back here at the uh, little corridor. And it's right over there. I'll just stay back here. That's right, mages pelt it with spells. Hello! Ooh! Pulse Burn the Impaler! Mana Burn! I think this next room over here has to be where the uh, Maggot Queen is, which is also where the staff is supposed to be. Oh, yeah, you can tell. See, there, there's the, the chest that's all glowing that, that usually means that's where the big quest item is. Oh, there it is. Cold Worm the Burrower. Cold Enchanted, Magic Resistant, and Im Immune to Cold. So if you're playing a Cold Spell... Sorceress, you're probably going to have a rough time. Also, notice the amount of corpses that are here. <clears throat> I mean, if my minions die, it's great, because I can just use them to res them, but... My minions are staying back! Get in here! Everyone, get in here! My minions are just stuck in the tunnel! There we go. Get in here and fight. Killed her. Hold on. Antidote. I've heard the poison that she does there when she poisons the entire room after you kill her can last like a solid minute. So that's one of the reasons I grabbed that uh, antidote potion. Ooh, a staff of kings. Mm-hmm. Okay. That was the maggot lair. Good day. The Staff of Kings. You astound me, my friend. You have discovered the shaft portion of a Herodric staff. I trust you know how to use a Herodric cube to unite the shaft with its headpiece. Well, the thing is, Kane, I don't have the headpiece yet. So, yeah. Ooh, life per hit and mana per hit. 5 to 14... Yeah, it does more damage. I will stash that away. Uh, 
Okay. Alright, so let me go ahead and show... Let me get these in here. Let me go ahead and show it to you guys on camera right now. So, we do this. Let's get the staff out of there. Put those in there. Boom! Flawed Amethyst. So now... Yeah, and there you go. That's all there is to it. Alright, so... We have the cube, we have the shaft. That's why we got the shaft. Now we have to go to the Claw Viper Temple to get the headpiece, which is also where we need to go in order to deal with all this sun that's being blocked. So, let's see here. So, this way, near the Magular entrance is where I discovered the direction towards the Lost City, which you'll see here. Yeah. You would expect it's going to be in this area, considering it's the next one. A Plague Bearer. Lovely. Ooh. There we go. All of a sudden, I started losing minions. All right, let's see if we can find this temple. So we can kill two birds with one stone, get the sun back, and get the headpiece. So we can try to make a Horodric staff. really sure what I'm supposed to be looking for in terms of the entrance or such for the tunnel or for the temple, excuse me. Apparently one of those was, uh, tough, and I didn't even notice him. It wasn't so tough. Close to leveling up again. How many keys do I have? Leveled up. Let's see. Do I want to buff any of these? You know, I remember trying out Teeth and that is the version of D3. I didn't really like it. I'll get Amplified Damage back. Start buffing my strength, since apparently I'm gonna need that for some other pieces of gear that are gonna be coming up that are gonna have higher strength and dexterity requirements. Which is why I'm glad that I can be able to respec on the fly, at least for the time being. <laughs> you never know! 
You know, because some of us go, hey, this seems cool and like a great idea. And then we find out later, that's not how it was meant to be used. Punishment. I've seen it happen before in other cases, especially, uh, you know, specifically with Blizzard. I remember that happening in WoW. So who knows? I hope <laughs> that they don't uh, consider it that way, especially because this is for the offline mode. If this was happening in the online mode, first off, I would not do it. But second off, I could absolutely understand them deciding, yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, remove that. Now, now, some are saying that they actually forgot to remove that little command when they launched it. The thing is, the game has been out now at this point for at least a month. And at this point, I would find it hard to believe that they just out completely forgot about that and didn't consider that a possibility. I don't know. Maybe it was something that, that they left in there, figuring that maybe players would figure that out on their own. Because like I said, it's not like modding the game to actually have free unlimited respects was never a thing. I know some people specifically modded the game to do that. That was one of those mods that people, that some people would do. They would make a mod that would make it where you could, like, respec infinitely as much as you wanted, to have much more um, inventory or stash space, to be able to have, like, an absurdly high amount of town portal so you never have to, have to worry about it, like what they basically did with it in D3. This was not a unheard of thing. This was a very well-known thing. So I would like to think that the developers will be like, yeah, you know what, we'll just go ahead and leave it like that for those who want to do that and offline. Like, go ahead and make it where it doesn't work in the online version. Sure, go ahead, but... Let us have our silly fun with builds and such and trying stuff out, or just for those of us who are learning the game for the first time, let us do that in the offline version. Ancient Tunnels. I'll come back to that. Let me just kind of keep filling out the map here. Hey, Blood Golem, where were you? Oh, just got not the area, boss. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and check out these Ancient Tunnels. There he is. Aura Enchanted. Viper Eater the Unholy. Okay. Ew. Notice how my skeletons are able to do more here in this dungeon compared to the maggot lair. Because they don't have tight corridors that they have to uh, try and figure out how to get through. Or they're able to actually do something. Ooh! It's more of those guys like the ones... Uh... I'm sorry, I can't help but to remember you know the ones from Mortal Kombat you guys know what I'm talking about ah! point over there no there <laughs> no point over there either
I just realized I had l fewer minions. I was like, where are my minions? Oh. That's where. By the way, in case you're wondering, why do you keep calling them minions? I mean, I, <laughs> I almost can't help it. I, I have played the, um, the Overlord games. And there were minions in that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can check them out. They're actually uh, pretty entertaining <laughs> games. A new overlord, you say? Rub some acid in his eyes. I don't know if I would call those great games, but they were very entertaining games, and I had some I had fun with them. I never beat them because well let's just say towards the end of the game it got uh I don't know kind of hectic or it was just kind of like, whoa! I do remember experiencing kind of a game-breaking bug towards the very end of the second game, which was frustrating. Don't you just love it when you are looking for something and then you end up uh, having a bug that just outright breaks the game for you and you're like on the verge of actually beating the game? Yeah. Like, I know that there's some bigger stuff here, but I have greens on, and they in increase my magic fine. So, I'm probably sacrificing some stats, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm increasing my chances of actually getting some better gear by having them on, right? Right? So, once again, it looks like I have to go up these stairs in order to actually... Oh, hold on. I was like, what, what was preventing me from moving? In order to get to the next main dungeon and such. Night Tigers! Ugh, get up here, minions. Gotta run up the stairs just to get you guys to actually join me. Um, so at the time I'm making this, the Halloween event has started in World of Warcraft, and, you know, which means the Headless Horseman is up, and by the way, I finally got the Horseman's mount! Yay! But one thing I've always loved is the voice actor for the Headless Horseman. And, like, I want to remember the line where he, where he summons the pumpkins, he's like, Soldiers arise! Oh gosh, I can't remember how the line goes. But, like, you know, he's got some great lines, like... Like, Now you're blackened souls, I'll pure! <laughs> I messed up on the laugh there, sorry. I'm usually pretty good at it, but I'm also trying to kind of keep my voice down a bit. Because it's late. Plus, I've also been recording several videos uh, in a string of, of recording here, so eventually, you know, pretty soon I'm going to have to stop here because my throat starts to go, Hey, you're talking too much. Give it a rest. Go. 
as you would expect, just like in Diablo 3, as we go through the game and level, uh, the gear and the gems, of course, are going to increase in level when, it come, when they drop. I love how the shrine uh, affects uh, not just me, but my minions as well. I played other games that have also let you be like the evil overlord, and so you've got minions such like War for the Overworld, a video I showed you guys before. You know, it's like your minions, overlord. I didn't enjoy that. I need to get a couple more skeletal mages. There we go. I'll grab another one of those. You rise and serve me. Where is this temple? Like, I really want to see if we can finish the temple here before I uh, call it a night. Not just to be able to get the headpiece, but also to get rid of this darkness. The Valley of Snakes. Okay, the temple has to be here. You don't have this place called the Valley of Snakes. There's the Claw Viper Temple. Alright. Alright, so we found it. Let's go ahead and... Uh take a look around this area of the map. This place is as dark as a tomb. Oh, those guardians are back. Those guys from the Halls of the Dead? Yeah, they're here. They're like the shamans from Act 1. They're the units that are here to help raise enemies back from the dead. That's clearly their purpose here. Chest right there. Ooh. Got some gold! Embalmed. Emotep. Emotep. Can you tell I've seen the Mummy movie? Well, I've seen... <laughs> I've seen the Brendan Fraser ones, you know, the first two. I've even seen the third one where it wasn't really a Mummy movie. It was just like, hey, there was this movie of, you know, this thing about the Scorpion King, who was played by The Rock. Let's do a movie about him. I did not see the remake that they did with, uh... Tom Cruise because, well, everyone made it very clear that it wasn't very good. <laughs> they basically took the approach with that, uh, like what they did with Amazing Spider-Man 2, which was, hey, we're going to make this movie that's going to start uh, a whole universe because they want to be ambitious like that when it came to trying to follow the MCU. Funny enough, Amazing Spider-Man did that before the MCU really got underway, so... But, 
they were focused on what they want to do later instead of actually making a better movie in that regard, so. A lot of good resist fire is gonna do in here. I like how once I attack something, my minions beeline for him like boss is attacking him, get him! They're the claw vipers. That's all that was in here. All right. Okay, that was a trap. Back the other way. So that's how the uh, vipers looked back then. In all their pixelated glory. Ooh, a 
another L rune. Be able to uh, use the cube to combine three of those into a higher room. Will you stop raising them? Salamanders. There's level two. Now let's go check this area down over here. Ah! One last little area, it looks like. Let's head down. Uh, the tough one, there was, uh, Lightning Enchanted. Lovely. It's alright, now they shall serve me! Sun Altar. What a pity. I was beginning to enjoy the darkness. <laughs> so it looks like we have the sun back. Um, I believe that if the sorceress uh, you know, if you do this as a sorcerer, she says, Who'd have thought such primitive beings could cause so much trouble? Which, to, I mean, <laughs> and I know someone who's, who in response said, Well, if you've ever seen Return of the Jedi, <laughs> I, I thought that was a spot on joke, so. Anyways, let's head on back, shall we? Hey, the sun is back. Greetings. The Viper amulet you bear is actually the headpiece of a Herodric staff. Yes, you have an uncanny knack for finding rare and valuable artifacts. Of course, you'll have to use a Herodric cube to combine the headpiece with the shaft. I've been speaking with Lord Jaren, and I sense that he is becoming more and more agitated by something. You should try to talk to him again. 
If he still won't take you into his confidence, seek to prove yourself a bit more. I gather that his respect for you is growing. Okay, then. Alright, so Tainted Sun has been completed. Good day. Drogman seems to have taken you into his confidence. This is good, for you will benefit from his wisdom. Okay. Alright, I'll deal with that in a moment. Let's go around and talk to everybody. There's no trouble a mug can't cure. You have done well to restore light to our world. You have... Oops. Let me buy you a drink. So this is daylight. Hmm. It's overrated. <laughs> yes? Good day. Oh, claw vipers are fond of magical artifacts. <laughs> Did you happen to find one in their temple? Nope. Not at all. Good day. With renewed daylight, one may gather the wits that were scattered about like restrictive undergarments in the darkness. I'm sorry, what? Uh, War of keep stuff like that to yourself, please. Hi there. Ah, uh, it takes but one eye to revel in the beauty of our restored sun. Good day. I'm glad that's over with. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> um, okay, how do I do <laughs> I am Tony Vermillion, reporting live from you. Actually, no, no, no. Because this... Let me do that. Let me do that again. This is Papa Neeks, reporting live from UNN. Kate Lockwell, I am here with Arcturus Manx, following the conclusion of StarCraft II, the Heart of the Swarm. Emperor Manx, how do you feel about the ending to Heart of the Swarm? I'm glad that's over with. Back to you, Kate. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. Uh, I love that. Good day. I've been researching the old records, trying to find the location of Tal Rasha's tomb. Though I haven't found the tomb itself, I may have a good lead for you. The great Vigerai summoner, Horizon, built his arcane sanctuary somewhere around here. He was a powerful spellcaster and kept demons as slaves within the sanctuary. He kept a close eye on great events, too such as the imprisonment of Baal within Tal Rasha's tomb. If you could find Horizon's sanctuary, I'm sure that it would hold some clue as to the tomb's location. Though I doubt Horizon is still alive, you must proceed with caution. There's no telling what could be waiting inside. When I spoke of this with Lord Jaren, he asked that I send you to him. Perhaps he knows of a secret entrance or the like. I will do that. You did well in destroying the Claw Vipers. We are all glad to see the sun return to its former glory. Okay. The Arcane Sanctuary. I've been researching. Oh, wait. Same thing. So, yeah, that's the new quest there. So, we have to go look for the Arcane Sanctuary within the palace. Let's go ahead and, uh,. Ta-da! We have a Horodric Staff! What's funny is, it's weird that they put stats on this thing. Because we consume this item to get to the final boss area of this act. So, it's just odd that they put stats on it for you to use when you're gonna be having to get rid of it, you know? Oh, Kane wants to talk. 
Excellent. You have a Herodric staff. Carry it with you into Tal Rosh's tomb. Find within the tomb the chamber whose floor is inset with the circle of seven symbols. Place the staff into the receptacle you find there. That will open the secret passage into Tal Rosh's burial chamber. But be prepared for a fight. You'll likely have to kill Tal Rasha to destroy Bale. Yeah, um, no, that's not who we're gonna have to be killing to even get there. But, yeah. Take the staff into Tal Rasha's tomb. Find Tal Rasha's tomb. Look for the arcane sanctuary within the palace. Alright, so hold on a second. Now, let's move this, because I need to use the cube for a bit of transmutation. Got a regular amethyst in there now. In fact, hold on a second. Yep, I've got three L runes. Eldrune. 75% to damage to undead, but the attack to rating against undead, slower stamina drain, slower stamina drain, so you can be able to just keep running even longer. Okay. That's pretty nice. So, still have just those there. Ooh, hold on. Boop, there we go. there. Oh, somehow I missed putting that back in there. Let's see. Put the amethyst over here. So I don't necessarily have to carry the cube with me, but I do have to take the staff because I'm going to need it when we get to that final area. <sighs> I almost feel like I don't necessarily need the antidote anymore. I think I'll store it away. The, the main thing I was wanting the antidote for was when we took on the queen at the maggot lair, and that's over, so... I also feel like some of the potions here are not really needing that much of. Let's go ahead and put that there, too. Place that with that. Let's get the smaller ones out. Just have the regular potions. Okay. This is gonna really hurt my inventory space, but that's all, but hey, I'll also have the cube with me. In fact, I can just go ahead and put that in the cube, and there we go. So, anyways. Don't really have anything else to talk about with anyone else. So let's just go talk to Jaren. When the troubles began here, I allowed the terrified harem guilds to join me within the safety of the palace. All was fine until one night. Screams echoed up the stairwells from the harem. My guards arrived to find the poor girls being slaughtered by a merciless band of hell spawned demons. My brave guardsmen tried to push the demons back into the mysterious rift from which they came. Ever since, my men have fought a losing battle. Demons have continued to pour through the rift into the palace. Ultimately, I hired Greys and his mercenaries to help protect the rest of my fair city. Drognan believes that the arcane sanctuary lies buried underneath this palace, since Lutgalain occupies the site of an ancient Vigerai fortress. My palace is open to you now. Take care. Okay, then. Hey, can I pass? Welcome to the palace. Thank you. My goodness. All right. So, we have to go through this dungeon uh, 
which is uh, basically the harem in order to even get to the Arcane Sanctuary. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll uh, talk about that, of course, when we get there. We'll also talk about the Arcane Sanctuary. Um, I'm also going to try and refresh my mem my mind on what was going on with this Horizon guy, because it also has to do with the mage that we were able to play back in Diablo 1. You know, I talked about that when we encountered Blood Raven. Um, this is now where we encounter uh, the mage from Diablo 1. So, well, sort of. I'll, I'll try and talk about that. It's something that's co very complicated. It, it was mainly in a book. Uh, I have not read the book. It's something I heard uh, about when it was like trying to understand what was going on here. So I'll try and talk about that next time. Stay tuned.